Hello, 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 it is BNH Audios. And considering we are now in March, at least I am, the time of this recording is the first. And I'm gonna get back into some of my normal ones. Don't worry, Hasbin Hotel is not going anywhere. I'm gonna continue doing them, but you know, we're just gonna sprinkle in some more of mine now that I've settled around with it and I know what to do with that kind of content. So this is, oh, I have had a lot, a lot, a lot of people requesting this. Like, so many. So, I um, don't just think, whatever, let's just do it. I don't do South Park a lot because I'm not a huge part of the fandom. Like, I watch the show sometimes, but I'm not a massive part. And also, I just can't find fiction, sorry, fanfic long enough um, for a video. Like, they're like three minutes long, and I don't think that'd be very enjoyable to listen to three minutes of me talking. But anyway, this is a very long intro. You know, I don't like long intros. So, links to this original fanfiction. And my South Park playlist will be in the description, all pretty for you. So let's get started. Kissing, tickling, and throwing pillows. Characters. Kyle, Stan, Kenny, and Butters. All aged up. 16 through 17. Gender neutral listener. Kyle. He gets so shy and red when you start kissing his face. He's... A little bit tense at first, unused to such physical affection. But once you gently place your hands on his cheeks, however, he feels every muscle relax under your touch. He leans into you, closing his eyes and losing himself on your lip. But then you move your hands to his eyes and start pulling him. His eyes shoot open and he yelps in surprise. He hates ticklish he is and does his absolute best to hold in his laughter but he can't keep it up for very long once his laughter is set free it sounds so genuine and unrestrained that it reminds you of childs when he reaches over to tickle you in return you run he gets up and chases you though but you take a pillow and throw it in his face and laugh grabs a peel pillow and smacks you with it repeatedly. Are you even listening? Kyle asked, your eyes from his lips lifted them to finally meet his, gazing into them. He was trying to help you study by reading off some questions from a set of note cards he had made, but you were too busy admiring him to pay attention. Um, no, not really. Why not? You have really pretty eyes. His cheeks warm up a bit and the rest of his body freezes. You, you think so? He asked shyly, lowering his voice. I do. <laughs> no one's already told me that before. Your eyes furrow and you almost don't know how to respond. You knew that boys typically received little compliments of such nature, but this practically offended you that no one else had noticed how gorgeous his bright green eyes were. You almost took it personally on his behalf. <laughs> that doesn't make sense to me. He shrugs. I just don't receive many compliments in general, especially about, you know, like my appearance. But there's so much to compliment. You stood up from where you sat across the room and walked over to him. Climbing into his bed, he rests on, placing yourself in his lap, and he averted his eyes timidly. I don't... I don't know about that. You scoff almost aggressively, taking the cards right out of his hands and putting them onto his nightstand. He then set his hands on your hips instead. It's true. I mean, your eyes, your nose, your lips, your hair. They're all perfect. N not to mention you have the sweetest smile and loveliest laugh. At this point, he knows that there is no way you haven't noticed how his face had gone in. He tries to think of something to say, but he is speechless, overwhelmed by your attention. Every time I look at your cute face, I just want to kiss it all over. And that's exactly what you do. You start near his jaw, next to his lips, 
burn kisses along the warmth of his cheek. He can't help but smile. You take off his hat and run his hands over your finger. Through his hair, moving it out of the way so you can continue kissing along his forehead. He leans into you, relaxing his muscles, melting into your lips. Perfect. You place one last kiss, extended kiss to his lips. And you better not be mean to my boyfriend. Okay, I won't. He mutters. They go. Now there's a laugh I love. I'm not laughing. Really? How about now? You move your hands to his sides and wiggle your fingers against him. He yelps, but quickly recloses his lips, and he does his best to stifle his laughter, but it ultimately fails. He closes his eyes, and he chorts, which makes you smile. He squirms, trying to grab your wrist and pull them away. I'm not sure I wasn't prepared. <laughs> what fun would it be if you were? He finds the strength to push you off of him. Not hard enough to hurt you, though, but enough to knock you backwards, landing you back on the mattress that you both sit on. He goes to pounce, but you swiftly roll out of the way and he lands face first on the bed. While you land on your hands and knees on the carpet, you let out a giggle as he gets up. You crawl away and he reaches down to grab you. Get back here. You lift yourself to your feet and turn to face him. He jumps up from the bed and makes his way towards you. You're back again, nearly meeting the wall behind you. He lunges at you, but you dodge and he almost lands on his face to the wall. You run back over to his bed and he continues to chase you. Stay back, you yell, grabbing a pillow and throwing it in his face. Ugh, how dare you? He grabs the pillow from the corner and corners you with it on the bed, smacking you repeatedly while you put your hands up to shield yourself, all while giggling. Okay, you got me, you win. He throws the pillow to the side and sets his hands on the bed at, at your sides, using them to hold himself up while he hovers over you. Your face is only into the part, and you're both still giggling, trying to catch your breath. He stares into your eyes, smiling humbly. You know, I think your eyes are really pretty, too. Stan. He isn't as ticklish as Kyle or Butters, but finding just the right stomach and squirm is a task that only you have managed to accomplish. His laugh is soft and adoring. He only laughs at the way you tickle him, but also particularly at the cute, determined face you make when you do so. He hits you with the pillow, knocking you back as he tries to tickle you in return, but you escape and he catches you. He pulls you under him so you can kiss, but when you part, you take his face in your hands, begin kissing him all over. He giggles with this dumb, dopey smile, but you swear you saw his pupils morph into hearts. You and Stan were playing a video game together, sitting on pillows placed on the floor in front of his television. He didn't often play video games together, partly because he initially went to his friends if he wanted to play games, and partly because you sucked at them, and he had picked the game that you were the worst at. A first-person shooter game. And man was he kicking your ass dude you suck at this he said a little too enthusiastically for your liking he, he was right though. but you were way too competitive to be beaten this easily and this fight didn't last long however because he quickly defeated you and um not as quickly as he would have if he would have just accepted your fate but he threw his fists up in the air and triumphed and ha beat you again you grumble, crossing your arms and refusing to look at him. I forget, do you just like losing? Shut up, you just got lucky. Got lucky for the tenth time in the row. He laughs, amused at the pound evident on your face. He found it adorable, how competitive you were, how you crossed your arms so angrily. Oh, you think it's funny? Yeah, I do. I'll give you something to laugh about. You tackle him to the floor and start tickling him. Mercilessly. Of course, he gasps and continues to laugh. Unbashedly, he does his best to push you off, but again, he doesn't go down, down without a fight. He resorts to grabbing one of the pillows you brother's sitting on and hitting you with it, knocking you back, and he sits back up in front of you. You're a sore loser. Whatever, you're a sore winner. 
you're cute when you're mad. He leans closer to you, your face is now inches apart, and you feel the subtle heat rise to your cheeks. Shut up and kiss me. He closes his eyes and presses his lips to yours. Delicately, he can't help but smile. When you part, he looks at you with so much fondness. I can't be mad at that handsome face for long. You place your hands on his cheeks, caressing the skin with your thumbs. He turns his head just slightly to plant a kiss onto your palm. You incline to lay a kiss on his cheek. One becomes two, and two becomes four. And two, we are littering across every inch of his face. He smiles wide, his face turning pink. I'll beat you next time. Sure you will. He moves his hands to the sides and starts tickling you, but you crawl away. He grabs your legs and pulls you back underneath him. You'll never beat me. Kenny. He throws a pillow in your face to make you pay attention to him if you aren't doing so. And you throw it right back at him, immediately feeling guilty when you see his puppy eyes and his pout. You lure him into your arms with the promise of a tender embrace, and you kiss him all over his face. Running your hands through his hair, and he basks in your warmth and affection. You catch him hella off guard, and you suddenly start tickling him. His boys start laughing, making your heart swell. He manages to remove your hands from his sides and holds you tightly against him, unable to escape as he tickles you back. Wayne. 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 Yes, Kenny. He groans in frustration when you answer without even looking up from your phone. He comes over to where you rest on the couch and sits next to you. When are you going to get off your phone? In a minute. You've said that like three times already, dude. Well, I promise this time. He groans again, almost comedically slumping back up against the sofa. He was bored. He wanted you to look at him, talk to him, pay attention to him. You went and kissed him in almost 50 minutes, and he thought he was going to die. You notice him get up, but you still don't move your eyes from the, your phone. He grabs a pillow off the couch and chucks it at you, hitting you square in the face and knocking the, your phone out of your hand. You little shit. A little shit, he gasped, cartoonishly offended. You're so mean. I just wanted your attention. Okay. I'm sorry. Come here. You hold your arms out for him and he climbs on top of you and lays between your legs with his head against your chest. You slide the hoodie off of his head and run your fingers through his hair, gently scraping your nails against his scalp. You lay your lips on his forehead, then his cheek, and then his jaw, making your way across his flushed face. He sighs in content and softens into the warmth of your body. He closes his eyes, only opening them when you stop. Why'd you stop? You snicker wordlessly, moving your hands to the hem of his jacket, just enough to lift it above your hand, under, feeling the bare skin above his hips. Oh. He smirks and you look him in the eyes with a fake sultry smile. You lean down, pretending like you're going to kiss him, but then you start fluttering your fingers against his skin, tickling him, and he begins laughing uncontrollably. He let out a villainous chuckle. You tricked me. He pushes himself up and away from you and falls back into the cushions behind him. You lift yourself up, Following his movements as you lean over him, reaching for his sides once again, continuing to tickle him and laugh. You're evil. You wanted my attention, now you got it. Are you happy? He grasps at your rib, rib, wrist, <laughs> removing them from his waist, and then pulls himself up towards you. You fall on top of him and he wraps his arms around you. I am now. You smile into his chest when you feel one of his hands trace your waist. While well, the other one is still wrapped around you, keeping you in place when he starts tickling you. Your laughter is muffled by his jacket, but he giggles as you try to escape. And that's that taste of your own medicine. Yeah, and I don't like it. Butters. He love, love, loves any and all kinds of attention you give him. He immediately leans into you and you start kissing him, his face growing warmer and warmer with each peck you plant on the skin. Your heart feels to the brim, nearly overflowing when you hear him giggle. You felt like you could listen to that sweet laughter all day, so you tickle him, and he laughs even more. Once he gets away from you, using his pillow, he swings it in front of him, using it to protect himself. When you're distracted, he pounces on you, gripping your sides and tickling you in return. Once he catches sight of you, his eyes light up, 
and his lips turn upward. When? He shouts excitedly, getting up from his bed and rushing over to you. Hi. You meet him halfway, wrapping your arms around his neck and rubbing your cheek against his. His arms tightly encase your waist and closes his eyes, cherishing your embrace. What are you doing here? I was just missing my favorite boy. He was very happy when he spoke to you. When you speak to him in that tickingly sweet voice in return, he rises to his cheeks, making his skin bloom with a soft baby pink. You move your hands from his shoulders and place them on his sides of his face. You look into his eyes so lovingly that it makes his heart beat so fast that he swears it's moments away before bursting through his chest. Well, I, I missed you too. Come happily in response, bringing your face closer before planting a gentle peck on the tip of his nose, then under his eyes and onto his cheeks, his forehead and the bridge of his nose. He can't help but giggle at the way you're so vicariously scattered smooching and smooches around his face. You have the cutest laugh. Well, I don't know about the cutest, he responded. It's true. He averted his eyes bashfully. And for a moment, you put your hands down to his waist and then start moving your fingers, fluttering them against his sides to tickle him. He let them more that wonderful laugh that you lived for. See? He stepped back, but you followed with your hands still attached to him. He continued until he met the edge of his bed, then quickly turning himself to climb on top of it. Before you could do so, he grabs a pillow and starts swinging it in front of him, hitting you in the process. Stay back. He laughed cheerfully as it was just a distraction before tackling you and starts tickling you just as you did him. Uh-huh, I got you. He swore that all the colors became more vibrant when he heard your laugh. He thought that you were one of the cutest things in the entire world.